Nine Reasons Tremors Still Absolutely Owns. This is Nerdist Now. When we were putting together our list of movie references in The Mandalorian Season 2, check it out, link in the description. One of the big ones we found from the premiere was Tremors, the 1990 monster movie that became a cult classic thanks to many years of airing on cable. Seriously, TNT for a while was nothing but Tremors, occasionally broken up with episodes of The Closer. But this got us thinking about what a great movie Tremors is. Smart, funny, scary, and truly groundbreaking. <laughs> Get it? And because this week is the movie's 31st anniversary, and because the good folks at Arrow Video have released a brand new 4K restoration, we thought it's the perfect time to head back to perfection and talk about some graboids. Here are nine reasons Tremors still whips ass. Number one, the premise. It's so simple yet so out there. A tiny cut-off town in the desert and its wacky residents must battle massive underground man-eating worms. The worms hunt via sound vibrations in the ground, so even just walking around can make you lunch. And it just keeps getting worse from there. And better for us. Number two, sweet PG-13 gore. Not long after the inception of the PG-13 rating, Tremors rode that thin line between restricted and parents strongly cautioned. But that doesn't mean it's tame. There's blood, brains, headless corpses, decaying flesh, worm guts, and of course, people getting eaten by monsters. Good times. Number three, the people of perfection. Any good monster movie needs a whole town full of weirdos, and Tremors has plenty. From our two junk-picking cowboys, more on them later, to gun nuts Bert and Heather Gummer, to Melvin, the town's jerk-ass teenager, perfection may be small, but it has a lot of character. And a lot of characters. Let's not forget Walter, the opportunistic general store owner who gives the creatures their name. Number four. Rhonda. It could have been so easy for the character who's both the love interest and the exposition character to be a drag, but Finn Carter's performance as seismology student Rhonda LeBeck makes her funny, supremely capable, and just as quirky as the rest of the town. Number five, the pole vaulting scene. Our three heroes have to get across the desert to their truck, but they're surrounded by graboids. What to do? Rhonda figures out they can pole vault across the boulders, and it's truly a delight all the way through. Number six, the script. The script for Tremors pulls off that magical balancing act of taking the threat completely seriously, but making its characters funny in their reactions to it. The situations are dire, but the mood is light and the banter is snappy. There are setups, callbacks, and payoffs all the way through. It goes a long way to make the audience care about your characters, which makes it even better when some of them eventually, you know, die horrible deaths. Number seven, this shot. Michael Gross and Reba McIntyre are absolute geniuses in this movie, and Gross, of course, became the main character of the franchise going forward. I am completely out of ammo. That's never happened to me before. But nothing sums up the entire ethos of the Gummers like this one shot and their never-ending arsenal. It's just, mwah. Number eight, the Graboids. Tremors was made in those gorgeous pre-CGI days when they actually built giant puppets and miniatures. The creatures were designed by Stan Winston alums Alec Gillis and Tom Woodruff Jr., who also made the full-size puppets. The miniature effects in Tremors were done by the brilliant Skotak brothers, who won Oscars for their work on Aliens, and they'd win another the next year for T2. It's a great design, and gloriously, grossly realized. And finally, number nine, Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward. Our two hapless heroes, Val and Earl, are the heart and soul of Tremors. Their repartee absolutely needs to work for the movie to work, and my god does it. From Val's constant shouting, to Earl's filthy mouth, to their rock-paper-scissors games, these two are hilarious as well as heroic. They are probably the best buddy action duo of the 90s. Yes, I said it, come at me. Please don't come at me, I've got a family. And there you have it, friends. Nine Reasons Tremors continues to be the G-darn best. What's your favorite part of Tremors? Let us know in the comments, and for more of the slithery worms you love, keep it glued to Nerdist.com. Nerdist.